This morning in the Eagle Studio, we have Courtney Yo with us. Courtney, good morning. Morning. Thank you for having me. We're excited to have you. It's uh, September 29th today. Tomorrow's uh, the big day there in Morden. Talk about where this event came from for, for you folks in Morden. Yeah, this is our third annual Ceremony and Healing Walk. It's the... The 10th anniversary this year of Orange Shirt Day. So three years ago, we approached the city and said, hey, it's really important to have uh, something uh, for recognition for this day. And we've noticed that year after year, more and more people come out and more and more people want to be a part of the learning journey on Orange Shirt Day. And so we know that it's really important to keep having events in our region for people to attend. Of course, there's lots going on in Winnipeg, but it's it's tough for people to get there. So really important that we're also um, acknowledging and raising awareness in our own communities. And uh, you told the story really well on the radio about Orange Shirt Day. Uh, for those that don't uh, know exactly what that is, what is Orange Shirt Day? Yeah, so Orange Shirt Day comes uh, out of uh, a story by Phyllis Webstad. Uh, she herself is a residential school survivor uh, in BC. She attended the St. Joseph Missions uh, Williams Lake uh, School. And when she was six years old, her grandma took her out uh, clothes shopping for school, just like all of us do before the new school year. And she had picked out this beautiful, bright, shiny orange shirt that she was super excited, super proud to wear. And she wore it for her first day of school. And then upon attending residential school that first day, that was the first thing they took from her. They cut her hair. So that school shirt that she was super proud to wear ended up being a very traumatic experience for her. And out of that traumatic experience, she uh, told her story and she told the world about um, what had happened to her and her experience at residential school. So that orange shirt has now become the symbol for for this day and the importance of, of why we wear it and what we do and, and how we acknowledge the harms of the past and move forward. And everybody's encouraged to wear their orange shirts tomorrow when they uh, when they go to their events, and especially this one here uh, in Morden. Talk about what the day is going to look like in Morden. Yes, yeah, so our event begins at 10 a.m. Uh, at the Access Event Centre in Morden, uh, outside, so it's kind of hard to miss us. We'll gather in the parking lot. If the weather is uh, not in our favor, we will head inside into the hall. But uh, the ceremony will begin at 10. We have a few speakers, some presenters. Uh, there's some honor song stuff to, to listen to and learn from. We will finish the ceremony with a flag raising, the Every Child Matters flag uh, raising ceremony. And then we head on a walk, a walk to bring awareness to the community who aren't able to attend our event. Uh, we'll head out towards the highway and then around the schools and gather back at the Access Event Center for a Bannock Dog lunch uh, where it's totally free for the people who participate with us, but we want to give individuals a chance to use that time to, to talk and ask questions and uh, reflect on their day before we we say goodbye and, and yeah. Right on. And so this is something that just anybody is, is welcome and encouraged to come out to. Exactly. Yep. The, anyone uh, as young or as old as you want to, we encourage you to join us in the walk. But of course, if you can't, for whatever reason, you're welcome to head straight into the hall uh, and we will be happy to serve you some lunch and, and talk with you. And yeah. And so the Truth in Action Working Group, how big is this group? Because uh, it uh, must take a few to get all of this organized. Yeah, we're, uh, we've grown significantly since I joined. We are uh, a pretty diverse group. There's about 15 of us that regularly meet once a month and, and try to put on events like this and, and others around education for Indigenous issues and, and awareness. So, yeah, there's a lot of us behind the scenes working. I am definitely not the only person. And <laughs> I am appreciative of all the group that I work with because they all, they all do so much to to get these things done right on we're excited for the event and to see what uh, what other events you guys plan in the future courtney thank you so much for coming in yeah thank you so much for having me hey i'm ronnie gunther hopefully you enjoyed that video if you have something going on in the community and you want to share it on the morning show we'd love to have you send us an email at news at if you like the video give it a like and share it with your friends we'll see you next time